Oh my God. I love you so much. You look like your dad. <laughs> You guys, oh my god. Hello, you look like your dad. <laughs> there. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Lambing has begun. Hey mama. <laughs> it's Sunday. I took the day off yesterday and of course as soon as I left they started lambing. The first two ewes couple issues. Uh, the very, very first one when Carissa came in yesterday morning, the first one was dead. I think it was that. I think it was that one. And uh, she did have another one, which is good. This morning, uh, my daughter checked on, on the ewes because it's Jess's day to work today. And this one had lambed through the night and head came out first, no legs. Uh, so, the, so the lamb got stuck and died, but she had a second one too. The problem with this one is uh, because it was born in the middle of the night and just got up at 6.30, I think, the lamb had already started sucking off another ewe. So now I have to watch the lamb to make sure all is well and she will accept her mom. Uh, the mom's been amazing. This is the stuff that I like to be around for. And it might not have been any different if I was here because if they lambed at one o'clock in the morning, I'm not out here through the night. I get up, I usually do a final barn check around 10 at night and I get up at about four. I get up at four, it doesn't necessarily mean I come to the barn at four, but I like to get up at four, have a cup of coffee, get out here before, in and around five. Early in the morning is the big, is the big time for these guys usually to lamb. So I like to be out here before the sun comes up. I'm gonna go check on the rest of the group and see if there's any new babies. They like to lamb at the very, very far end. It's probably where I should start my lambing pens and move this way, but I'm just a creature of habit and I like to do things, I guess, backwards. Create myself a lot of work, but so far, no babies right now. Which is good, I got a ton of stuff I gotta catch up on anywhere in the house. That's the joys of going away, even though it was a great wedding. I can't wait to see what you have. Okay, I know this is asking for trouble. I don't typically do this. I don't like wearing clothes that I wear to town to do a barn check because that's usually when something happens. But I was driving in and the lights were off and I want to keep the lights on till about 10 just so I can come back out and check and not always turn the lights on and off. So I'm just doing a quick check here. I um, Those triplets, I actually bottle fed the one lamb, so I wanted to check on it and the other ones and just make sure there's no more lambs. And then I will put groceries away, eat supper, and then come back out again. This is, this is, this will be my life for the next month. Yeah, he's a baby. I knew it. I knew I should have put on my coveralls. Oh, there's another one. <gasps> you had your baby. Hi. Or er, you ran away. Shoot. Okay, that's not yours. Stealer. Don't steal. You're stealing. 
This is not yours, this is hers. Oh, sorry. Good girl. Is this yours? They're both yours, mama. Mm-hmm. You guys are too healthy. You keep running away from your real mommies. And I think we got a stealer. Okay, let's let's put you guys in it. Stop stealing. Not yours. Go. Get. No, pretty sure. Yes. <laughs> Prepared even when I am not. That's gonna have to do. Okay. I have got them in a pen. She came in lovely. She just followed her lambs like a little dream. So now I'm gonna just check her and make sure she's got milk in her udder. In her teats, I should say. Good. Milk. Good mommy. Your babies are beautiful. They're beautiful. Hello. Good mammies. You already know where to go. Okay, I'm gonna leave these guys uh, while I put groceries away and go eat quick, and then I'll come back, make sure they've had a drink. And these guys look pretty good. But I will introduce a bottle to all three of these as well to make sure yeah that's the one I fed this, this afternoon so I like to introduce the bottle just to get them used to it because I'll likely pull one off and put it on the machine just because the mom these are really big lambs and I don't think she'll be able to service all three so one might be a bottle baby back a little bit earlier than expected because there's another lamb the cameras are a blessing and a curse because sometimes I'm not ready to get back out to the barn. It's like the March of the Penguins. There they are right there. Okay, whose babies? It's not yours. It's a runaway. Another runaway. Who's your mommy? Whoa, guys, whoa, stop. Where's your mommy? Oh, yeah. Listen, you guys. Oh, there's two more. No, it's not yours. Go away. Is this yours, mommy? Hi. Here you go. Yeah. You, stop stealing. Where you go? Get. This is a really busy start. Stop. That is not your baby. Seriously. It's yours. You're so sweet. Hi. All right, I gotta rescue it because she's a stealer. Stop, you don't. I'm not gonna lie, that's a long walk all the way from the back of the barn to the front of the barn. Um, and uh, my stealer followed as well. Anyway, we got her moved in and her babies are really nice, really nice size again, so. So far, these lambs are looking really good. I'm gonna check her milk, just like, just like the other one I did. And um, I'm gonna mix up a bottle of colostrum and just offer, offer all these new ones a little bit just to make sure they've had a little bit and just so they know what the bottle is like in case I have to pull one off, especially these triplets. This ewe is likely close if so she's trying to steal. Her hormones go crazy. She is hollowed out a lot. They will hollow out here because they usually carry really high, so she'll hollow out here. Let me see your udder. Her udder's getting pretty pink and her vulva gets pink. Turn around, turn around. So she's getting pretty pink back there. So likely by morning or yet tomorrow for sure sometime, you'll be a mommy. I don't know if I should just keep her on this side. Should I just keep you on this side? I don't want you to bug the babies. Are you guarding? What are you doing? Those aren't your babies. 
Stop stealing. The you that just had three that I moved in there, uh, the the one baby was trying to drink. I noticed and just keep kept moving from teat to teat, and then I tried to strip her out. That doesn't seem like there's any damage to the teat, and there's no lumps in the udder. But she is not letting down her milk yet. She likely will. It's early yet. Um, I'm gonna feed all the lambs. Uh, a good amount of colostrum, just as much as they will drink, because I don't want those lambs going all night without drinking. That is the problem with night lambings, is missing the colostrum. So I'm gonna make sure they get at least their first drink. I'm gonna do that. She just laid down, she's having another lamb. What are you doing, mom? Totally. for another one. I just totally gave Jess a lecture for not checking after they had one or two. And I just did the same thing. Hi, welcome. It's got a really good suck reflex. Hi. Hi, hey, Mom. Congratulations. Should I check for another one? of a surprise for my first night back. So if these four were born yesterday when those two lambs had died, excuse me, I would have tried to foster two of these onto those two mums because they have milk. Now I have noticed the, the ewe that had the first lamb yesterday, she has a terrible udder. Um, it looks like she's got two, two functioning sides but a lot of swelling right in the middle. So. Uh, hanging really low, so I'm kind of <laughs> glad she's only got one lamb on her because I'm just questioning the quality of, <laughs> of that udder. So I'll have to mark that down. And then the other one that has a single, she's got one cheat that's really, really <laughs> gorged and likely because the lamb's only drinking on one side. So in her case, it would have been good <laughs> to have a second lamb. Could I do it now? Probably not. Some people might be able to foster. I haven't been able to foster after their hormones have worn off. It just has never worked for me. I find that there's a real critical time that you can do it, but there's better farmers than me and I'm sure other people can do it. But I do have a automatic lamb nursery, so I will let her perform her magic. Okay, this lamb already has had 200 mils, so it's a big lamb for a quad. Oh, down the wrong hole. So I've got 150 mils left, I'm gonna turn to this one. And I already fed the other one. And I haven't fed the new one, so we'll see how this one. Okay, you guys. I have to make another bottle for the new one. 
but they are doing good. Is that the one that was trying to steal? That might have been the one trying to steal. But I think she's getting close. <laughs> I hate hearing that sound when I want to leave. What are we going to do? Are you going to have a baby? <coughs> yeah. You sure are. I don't know what to do. <coughs> if I leave you, you will lamb. So it's that awkward time. It's like 8.30. There's nothing else going on. I kind of want to just go to the house for the night. But now I don't trust her and she won't really move up now because she doesn't have a lamb to follow. Oh, maybe she will. Keep going. I'm just going to keep moving up. Maybe she'll follow. That one right there. Oh, maybe. If I can just get her in that pen, I'll shut the gate behind me. Very slowly. Come find your babies. Uh, Keep coming. If I pretend I'm not looking uh, at her. Oh, here she goes. Uh, good, 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 good. Uh, I think she's looking for the one she stole. Uh, she found them. She's so freaking smart. Okay, now keep coming. Come on, mama. Okay, I hate doing this, but I put her in a I put her in a lambing pen for now. I don't like putting them in this small pen when they're lambing because they do a lot of circling and nesting. And the problem is the first one might come out okay, but the second one, when she does that again, she might lay on the first one. And that is super annoying when you come in the next morning and she's laid on one and you know darn well it could have been prevented. So I, I kind of widened it out a bit so it's a little bit bigger. Uh, so I think I'll take my chances. I don't even know if she's lambing or she just wanted to steal. So I'm gonna leave her in here for tonight and keep my fingers crossed that she'll be okay. I just did a whole nother stroll through the back to make sure there's no other lambs pending that I could see and I don't see any. I think I'm gonna call it a night, get some sleep and get out here first thing in the morning because I have a funny feeling that we're in for a whole lot of lambs in the next few days.